Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to AMCF Real Estate Foundational Organization or the AMCF Private Foundational Trust Organization Artful. Ladies and gentlemen, what does AMCF do besides help people with their student loans, car loans, home loans? Well, let us show you. Here at AMCF, individuals are not aware because no one told them that they weren't supposed to be paying for their necessities, that the government has assumed responsibility for their necessities. The act of May 12th, 1933 was one such act to document that. What Congress did was Congress made it so that when a person applied for a loan for a home or a car, that the financial institutions known as the banks were to help facilitate the transaction. And in exchange for the banks facilitating the transaction, they received Federal Reserve notes in exchange for the promissory notes, exactly what the congressional record stated. So give us a second and we'll show you that congressional record. So here is how the act works. The act of June 12, 1945, or 59 statute at large, three or 237, section number two. Under the new law, the money, Federal Reserve notes, is issued to the banks in return for promissory notes or bills of exchange or drafts or bankers acceptances or government acceptances or government obligations. The money, Federal Reserve notes, shall be worth 100 cents on a dollar because it is backed by the credit of the nation. That's how the banks participate. That's their duty. In order for them to receive Federal Reserve notes, they must accept the promissory notes. The only thing the person has to do is show that it is for a necessity, that it is for household goods, consumer goods, not for commercial use or profit or gain. And the individual is supposed to be able to apply and receive the access to purchasing a home, purchasing a car, getting a higher education. The education is part of the maintenance and education of the minor under the Minors Act. So that's what the organization is helping to do. It's helping to apply the law as written to individuals such as yourselves. Why are the prices so low? Because we are capping it at $10,500 per account. Now we want you to understand, you don't pay that. We are discounting it. This is the discounted rate. And that's all you pay with the exception of any filing fees that are associated with the program. Please take the time, review the site, and get a better understanding. But I'm hoping that the explanation of the law and how the law is being applied to loans gives you a better understanding as to it is not the signature that pays for the loan. It is the very simple fact that you put together an application and a promissory note that pays for the home, comma, the car, or the student loan. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this brief, excuse me, brief advertisement. Have a very good day.